Okay, I had some people ask about how I do it, how I'm doing the modification to do the walkable stamping on the bottom of the door. First, you need to have heavy gloves, leather shoes, a respirator. If you're dealing with very hot metal, if you're dealing with very noxious fumes that come off the doors, and you want to protect yourself. Doors, this can be done on any Troyer, uh, Super Gourd, or excluder gourd, the bottom sticking up. I'm not sure if the S and K gourds are. Uh, this is a permanent method to keep water from wicking up into these holes. It kind of defies gravity. Well, it doesn't kind of defy gravity, it does defy gravity, but the surface tension of the water is strong enough that when the water runs down the gourd, it runs up into the holes and wets the nest. So the first thing you gotta do is heat the bolt. Now, if you're using an oxygen acetylene torch like I am, you don't want to heat the tip. This is the waffle tip. Um, you don't want to heat it to a cherry red color because that immediately liquefies the plastic. And that's not what we're trying to do. We're just trying to create a dimple pattern. So with the acetylene torch, I heat the bolt about here until it gets red. And that lets it retain enough heat and radiate towards the tip to, to do a whole gourd without having to reheat the uh, bolt. If you're using a propane torch or a map gas torch, you can probably heat directly on the end. You just don't want it to become cherry red. Okay, now I'm gonna light the torch and it's gonna be hard to hear after I light it and I leave it lit the whole time I'm working on it uh, just to speed things up. Uh, the process takes probably about 30 to 45 seconds with this bolt being cold. It may take a minute to get it red and we'll pick up during the progress of that. Okay, this bolt's hot enough now to do one completely. But when it's this hot, you have to go a little faster on the first hose. You get to see some flash fires from the fumes. As you can see, I'm not doing anything I said you should do as far as protective equipment. Uh, I do have the barn doors open, so I'm getting a good cross ventilation because these really are some noxious fumes. You don't want to be inhaling these. I'm sure they cause cancer in California. But as you can see, it doesn't take very long to do a gourd. Um, as the bolt cools, you'll see it take a little longer to go into the gourd. You just want to slow down. You want to make sure you get a good, solid ring stamped all the way around the holes. And I, I tested this with rainwater and with a water hose and had no wetness coming from the bottom. I typically get about six stamps around each hole. You gotta get enough, it doesn't matter, you just gotta make sure you get a solid ring with no gaps. Center hole is a little different. You're not going to get the big daisy looking ring around it because it's raised. It shouldn't matter as long as you get something for the water to hit and fall off. There you go. It's that simple. That was done forever.